Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Steven is already lurking and working. I was working already today. I'm done. I do not want dislike <clears throat> this whole adulting thing. It's hard on the head, man. My name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel. We are watching hopefully the sunrise sometime soon over the new wheat mill that we built here in the medieval realm. Uh, it's a vanilla server. I have a couple of little, you know, quality of life mods, but nothing crazy. Uh, texture packs, all the same, all the same stuff that you've seen time and time again. <clears throat> so we're going to uh, continue on where we left off. Yesterday, uh, I finished the barn and I finished the inside of the barn. So I'm going to show that off uh, and uh, we'll go on from there. I think we're going to go and maybe work a little bit over here today. Uh, but there is a little bit of work still left to be done right there. Well, to be to be frank, Stephen, the work is never done. It's only done for today. <laughs> I.e., I got fed up and I quit. <laughs> I was working on some bookkeeping and some tax stuff, and I just I get tired of staring at numbers and receipts and stuff. So, here we are. Uh, anyway, I have a show shulker box. I have a lot of shulker boxes. Okay, let's um, go down into the basement. Avoid the creeper. We're going to shut those. One of these, I think it's this one. Yes, this needs to be dumped up. Some of this stuff is not, not staying with me. Wood and leads. Leads can go in here. All the wood... Uh, stripped birch, let's put that there, stripped oak, stripped oak, sand, sand goes there, uh, leather, fire, leafy things, I have those, I know where those go, cobblestone, Stairs. Uh, these are drops. <clears throat> I'm a little under the weather today, so if you hear some frogs, don't worry. Do not adjust your earphones. It is just me hanging out, trying to be a human with crazy humid exchanges in December, and it is messing with my brain, which is attached to everything. So there's that. Uh, we should maybe keep those with us now that I think about it. Uh, don't need those. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh, what's this? Birch leaves. Birch leaves. Let's do that. Oh, come on. And grass sticks. Bones. Trees. That's just about it. <clears throat> Alright, that's it for that shulker box. Tiny Albert and CJ, how's it going? Hey, Pineapple Princess, haven't seen you in a long time. Thanks for coming by. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, grass, we will fill it. We will drop off a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong thing. This one. Don't need those. Um, <clears throat> slabs, utilities. Wood, stone, other stone. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I still have shaders on. Hold on now. I was trying to find a good shader pack 
earlier today. Something I might be able to stream with, but so far no dice. Yes, that's right. Our very own Cosmic Dancer is thinking about joining the streaming community. And uh, perhaps in 2021, we'll be able to show what she's working on in Somerville herself, as opposed to all of us flying by and saying, look, look what she's done. So, <clears throat> since last time, I did log on last night and uh, I did a little bit of work on the roof. I changed out a couple of those hay bales that we placed in yesterday and put in the uh, stripped wood that's birch and the darker one is oak. I like using both of them. It looks quite good. Uh, I added a little bit of like grass and just some stuff around the outside so it looked a little bit more functional. I messed around with this path a little bit and I also brought the path around the back, added some bushes and things. Really doesn't do much back here. Uh, it's just kind of like grassy area. There's not much going on. We might try to put something here. I don't know what. Um, and <clears throat> I worked on the interior. And so I have a log storage shelf there. I've got a pile of grain over here. I've got a pile of grain here. I was thinking about doing more with barrels, but the problem with the barrels is that they just look boring. You can't, I don't have, I should try to get a custom texture pack where when you put something in the barrel, it changes this texture to be something. Like it would be nice if the barrels were open and we could have barrels of grain because then that would make sense. But right now we can't, we can't do that. And really I, grain would be in sacks, not barrels. So there's that. I also made this. I don't exactly know what it is. I, th I was thinking of it being like a little horse horse paddock something like that but it's just meant to look cool really and fill some space uh, i do enjoy the sandstone sand and wheat hay bale blocks kind of making it looks like stuff is being spilt around um, and then of course just a little bit of texture with spruce and i want to tip my hat to alistair reminding me that the bottoms of barrels actually have a really cool texture and it adds some variety when you want to put the bottom of a barrel on a spruce plank right next to each other. There's a little bit of a difference there, which is nice. Keeps it from being too repetitive, you know? So that is where we are. Um, so one thing I need to do is... Oh my god. what What's happening now? My computer just had a fit. Hold on. I need to check to see if something needs to be closed. No, everything seems to be okay. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to remove probably this tree because I want to create another small wheat field here. And if you look at that from above, you'll see the rows that I've got planned out. And I think I want to put yet another one here. Uh, so we're going to have to come in here with a bit of fence, I think, and check that out. Uh, but I wanted to move my little Shulker Island somewhere else. Uh, and I think the first thing we should do is maybe take a look at this again and decide how we're going to... <clears throat> how we're going to do the roads. It might be easier to do this with the map. <clears throat> Okay, so we got the bridge coming across here. I think these hills, you can see these these striation lines. You can see them here. There's a line there, a line there. I think we're going to turn those into farmland. But I think to do that, we'll have to bring the road up this way. And then it'll probably split. It'll probably go down this way and go right across the top here. I was going to bring it down by the river, but I don't think that's really the most practical thing. I think we should maybe have it go up and then have it go down, down this way. But in order to do that, I think the first thing we need to do is maybe, well, we should plot out the road. I'm assuming the pass is going to be over here somewhere. 
Where's the low ground coming through here? Looks like right here. So we're gonna grab some stone. And I would say, if I was a road, I wouldn't mind popping out right about here. We might have to fill this in a little bit. I feel like this is probably a decent spot. You can sort of see the, the logic there. And I think we'll just curve it a little bit this way. Sounds like there's lava around here. Sounds like there's a lot of lava around here. Wow. Let's, um... Let's not leave that there. Oh, thanks, Tiny Albert. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so I think we'll just kind of like try to slowly curve this around this way. See if that looks like a decent curve. Yeah, we might not make it that steep, but I think that's about right. Uh, and then at the top of it, so up here, I'd say we want to diverge about here. Maybe a little bit back like that. I'll go out this way. Now here, I think we'll just go pretty straight. Right up until, I guess we have to switch and head down to the left. No, to right, I guess. Now this is something we could either bring this down, build it up. I'm just kind of like spitballing how this might look. And where's my bed? <laughs> no one tell owls to the lava's there? Yeah, really, though. Uh, sparkles. Sparky. Sparkle. Sparky, too. Hello. How's it going? Thanks for coming by. Uh, there is a tweet out there. Should you, uh, anybody that's new, uh, want to bring in a friend, if you want to share the stream, then please feel free to do that. Yeah, so there's the road coming down there. I feel like it's probably going to switch out and go... Probably going to go that way too. <clears throat> but for now, I think I'm okay with it um, connecting with this bridge over here. See it over there? So we'll try to bring this around. Now, this isn't going to be a big road, this is going to be something a little bit more subtle. I think. And really, I'm not going to go that far with it. I just want to um, kind of map out rough ideas. Hmm. 
So we'll, we'll refine this later on. I really only want to get the first part of it sorted. Whoa, not there. That takes care of that. Okay, <clears throat> so if that's going to be our road, what I want to think about next is the, I guess, depth at which this hill is being scaled. And I guess what we should do is move our little shulker island around the back. Maybe we'll put it back in here. I've been struggling to find places to put stuff where it's not in the way. Maybe we'll put it up here, actually. That might be a better way to do it. Is there a good spot? Yeah, I guess here is just as good as any. I have to listen to the lava bubbling there. Let's put it over here. Oh, hey, look. We can do, we can set up in here. That way when I take screenshots, the shulker boxes are not in the way. Beautiful, okay, this'll work. Lovely. Plus, we can maybe use the wall. Tuck this in here, and now just lay these out. I've always wanted to do a storage room where everything is like up in the ceiling like this, or up on the wall. It'd be really fun. Actually, we're gonna need that a lot more often than not. So we'll put this out here. Cause you can get away with a lot of cool stuff. And put you down here. And this one will be there. Stone and cobble. Okay. Stone and cobble. And a bit. And I need some torches right away. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and start digging. So here, uh, I wanna try and create tiers in the garden. And over here, we did the same thing. And I feel like the minimal distance was about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's about six. So we'll um, keep that in mind as we cut some stuff back here. I guess we should probably use these. Lots of flowers. Thanks for the lurk, Cosmic. Really appreciate it. I know you haven't been top-notch lately with your feeling under the weather and stuff, so I appreciate you hanging out. 
should be a pretty chill stream anyway. Normally these weekday streams are pretty laid back. And try not to um, take out the tree. I might try to run the road right next to it so that we can keep it. Not have it interfere with the, the farmland. Eggs. No thanks. Uh, what was I looking for? Shears. So we're going to try and make this look uh, natural, but also uh, killed and escaped a little bit by the town folk. How far up are we going here? Uh, this is probably about where we'll stop. So with these, I just try to smooth out the natural curve of things. Like I try not to create anything that's too too smooth or too perfect. I just try to take any of the little janky bits uh, out of the Minecraft world gen. And I also will probably try to even them out a little bit so they're not so, so steep in places. Uh, make them a little bit more workable. And we will start, I guess, down here. So we'll widen this up a little bit. I think we're going to push this back a tad. Well, actually, no, it should be fine. So over here where it gets a little bit tight, this is fine. Uh, we will kind of deal with this. Uh, I think, I think we'll try to change this up a little bit. Good. Nope, oh, bedtime again. Obisa, hello, how are you? Thanks for coming by. All right, um, so now we've got this one looking pretty good. So that's two, 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 bunch of ones, bunch of twos. So then here we can start to switch things up a little bit. And then 
to see how that looks. It's gonna be hard to see. That's okay there. I mean, it could be could be pushed back a little bit, I guess. Actually, you know. One of these places, it wouldn't be too bad to have it go up quite steeply, because we could have like a two, a two wide wall here, and that could work. So let's. Um, I'm okay with a steep part right there. So let's just make sure that we have enough room. I'd say that's probably pretty good because that will fold in nicely to this steep part right here. Yeah, so we'll go from there and I guess we'll just mimic that. this be the spot where it starts to get a little bit steeper I keep on wanting to remove that stone block but not yet so two blocks all along there We'll have to work out how the road happens, but. I love little custom cliffs that are only two to four blocks high. Nice, yeah. That's what I thought I'd mess around with. Sometimes it's easier to see what's going on from up here though. It's two blocks. Let's go back now. Three. Two, three, four. Two, two, three. Feels a little bit better, although they're pretty straight, aren't they? We should maybe Make sure we don't forget about curving around the corner here. Because I don't want this to feel so pointy. So somewhere around here. We want to round this out. Yeah, so we'll come down two more blocks over this way. And then we'll also cut this off here. 
Then we'll have to come back in here and actually see what this wants to be. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll start going the other way. Uh, hello, Joel. Always been a pleasure to catch your streams. Greetings and love from Romania. Pablo Aza or Aza. Thanks very much, Pablo. That's very nice of you to say. Romania. Wow. That's fun. Crazy Dave. Doing well. Thank you. Doing well. Uh, I think we're going to get rid of the sand. Bit distracting. I don't know if I already landscaped the river. Maybe I didn't on this side. I don't remember. So we'll do that now. Nice thing about this is that as we riverscape things, we'll end up getting a fair bit more sand, even though I'm not digging down all of it. Just the little bit that you collect. You know, each time you do that, adds up. Okay, so uh, we want this. Is this going to have crops on it? Probably not, actually. This will. So let's just think about this then. All right, we've already done that. So that means we can probably come down here. when we'll start to change the directions again. Two, three, four, five. I don't know if I did anything on this side of the river. Oh, I did not, okay. That's going to have to change. What about here? Switch this again. That will give us a little bit more information on how to deal with the top part. Awesome. Lucid Wolf, doing well, thanks. We're uh, moving on to do a little bit more landscaping on this side. 
Try to figure a little bit of road. Just trying to get the day going. I do want to try to do more building today. I've done a lot of like landscaping stuff, so I'm gonna try to get it get to that. How are we looking here? What? Pretty good there. I don't want to go overboard with this stuff, but we can probably now begin this part here. So this would be crops, I think, but this would not be. Not really sure. We might be able to swing it. Uh, so then I'd want to bring it out a little bit more. And then here we have to think about how this is happening. Two to two, three. Actually, it's too far. Too far. Let's go back. This cuts in sooner. Take that out. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're on to the next tier, uh, which we think we can definitely have some room here. Make this a little bit wider, I think. SG-1007 with 120 bits. Keep up the good work on the spun chunks. Do you have any tips for people just getting into terraining? You mean terraforming? Like what I'm doing right now? Like sculpting terrain? That's Is that what you mean? And thank you very much for the, the bits. I really appreciate that. Keeps the midday, midweek streams a-going with things like bits, tier one, prime gaming, and Patreon. Patreon's only two dollars a month. Yes, you do. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, so you'll see what I'm doing here. I'm sort of counting as I go, and what I'm trying to do, you can see here. Uh, see how there's like twos, and then it goes to ones, and then back to twos again. The thing that you want to remember when you're doing this kind of stuff, it's like pixel art, and you can keep it looking organic, you know, like switching from ones to twos and back to ones and threes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but what you want to try to avoid is going back and forth too quickly and going from one number to a high number and then back to a no low number. You kind of want to always be gradually going up or gradually going down. So here I'm doing two. We'll do. I have to figure out what's going on here. Both of these. Right. This is a too high thing. Yeah. So let's look at this. So that's. There, you do this one. Yeah, so we're, we need to fill this in. Right to that point. So this is like an, a higher up part. We're gonna have to carve this out a little bit for the road, but uh, here we need to start to curve it around. Is 
this work? Yeah. That. So then up here, this is too long, right? So we need to bring this back to there. So it goes one, two, and then two. Then this is longer. But up here, we have more room. So up here, what we want to do is bring it out a little bit more. So after it gets down to about the tree, I think we're going to bring it out a little bit more. So one, two, three, four, five, two there. We'll do two there. And then one, two, three singles, two going in this direction. And then one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Sometimes, it's, I mean, it's a lot of trial and error, right? But essentially what you're doing is trying to make some smooth curves. But having this map tool does help quite a bit. See how that's nice and smooth now? And then so is this. It's a little hard to see right now because we haven't... Um, we haven't done much over here, but eventually it will start to look good. And sometimes you ha I have to like pull back and like do some crop planting and stuff like that. But we'll go back over here. See, here's a spot that's like grabbing me. So it goes, it goes two, then one, then three. And that doesn't look good. It'd be better off to do two, two, and two. So I just kind of like, when I see stuff like that, I kind of think like, well, why does that look wonky? And chances are when you count, you'll find out quite quickly why it looks a little bit strange. And so this one, we want to push back a little bit here. So that's a decent space. Actually, we could probably go faster. Yeah, that's better. So here I did threes, two twos, a couple of ones, but then I'm going to switch again. back to twos. So you'll see how that kind of makes like a curve. Curves and patterns. Yep. Yeah, that's the trick. So yeah, that's a nice it still feels organic. Like if we fly up here, it still feels like a hillside, but instead of like, like this is all Minecraft default right there. All this here is all default Minecraft. I haven't done anything there. But if you look over here, it's a little bit cooler looking. And we're gonna be able to like put walls and stuff on it. We're gonna do stuff like this over there. But you can see like this stuff needs to be carved back quite a bit. So we'll have to figure that out. I like this idea of doing a, a too high cliff though. That's going to be a fun challenge. So right now we want this plateau to be a lot sharper. So two, two, one, 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 and we'll go. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that pulls us back to there, and then we have to go sleep. I find that the time goes by very quickly 
when you do this. So interesting watching you do this and explain because I usually try to avoid counting because I don't want to fall into a pattern and make it look geometric. Um, yeah, the, I guess the thing is that, I mean, I'm thinking about it in terms of like contour lines. So I'm thinking about having things be very close together here. They get farther apart here. And then you can see they start to get close together there. So that as a whole is organic. Like this whole thing is going to look more organic. Like look how, look how organic this looks here compared to like, oh, gee, the map is a little bit funky compared to like this stuff, you know, like this is, this is organic Minecraft, but it looks like garbage. And that's just, you know, the algorithm can't be perfect all the time. I'm not slamming Minecraft. I mean, gosh, it's, I couldn't program it. So yeah, it's a zeros mini map and tiny Albert just gave you a link in the chat. Thanks, tiny Albert. Appreciate that. All right, so now do we have to change this? Yeah, we want to start curving this the other way. level yet. Nope. See now here's a spot where it's got this this is natural Minecraft and I actually quite like it. So we're gonna go and just tweak it a little bit. So three, two, three, and then ones. Probably switch to twos there. Probably going to keep it on singles until it gets past the road. Uh, oh, no. We're going to make it go farther. not that far. Oops. Should put these in my other other hand. comes together pretty quickly. See what I mean? So like they all seem to be coming close together here with the exception of this little organic bit. But this is just gonna add like a little bit of imperfection to it. So there'll just be like a little bit of wider, wider crops up here. And then this is actually gonna be, the road is probably gonna be starting around here. So yeah, so this will be crops, but the road is going to be right there. Uh, and now we're on to, I think the last level. So I'm going to keep this farmland, but this is going to be not. Yeah, so this, what we're standing on now is the last little bit of farmland. And then this other part here will be something else and we just have to go over here probably right by that stone and start here 
Don't mind this because this could be a nice way to go up for the road. So we've got five, three, two, two again. One, two, three, four, five. Some of these little ponds and stuff, I'm probably going to end up filling these in. But they could be interesting. We'll see. And then say right about here. So just push out the other way. Trying to follow what's happening over here. And sometimes it's best not to think too much about it. Like I'm thinking about the numbers, but I'm really not being too careful because, I mean, one, it's Minecraft, and this, this kind of stuff is very easy to change. But two, like, if you don't think about it too much, then it, sometimes it ends up being a little bit more organic. Yeah, so like this, I think I want to go out another two blocks there. So right where the single start, I want to go there there and then push it out there so what that did is brought these two lines closer together just feels a little bit nicer now this nonsense just needs to get cut back a little bit we will have to be careful I'm going to go Get a bucket of water actually. I get hmm. I guess I could. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have some lava on hand. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Like look at this thing. This is nuts. Looks like it was only one deep, so that's good. And I might keep some of this stuff, like there's some natural rocks here, so we might actually turn this into something that looks a little bit cooler because we will have, it would be neat to see something as you go on this road to this other village. It would be cool if there was like a rock thing here. I like what um, Scar and Mumbo did in like, I think it was season season six of Minecraft, of uh, Hermitcraft. They made, they basically made like a bunch of big squarish rocks. We can do something different here, but. Wah, see, that's why I filled it in. Yeah, so like something like that, some sort of rock feature. When you walk by down here, just adds a little bit of it, some interest. We'll change it up so it looks good later on.
Take it easy, Stephen. Uh, trying to be a good, a good adult, but being distracted by the awesome terraforming. Nice. I appreciate that. Well, if you're still here, thanks. And uh, if not, obviously, I will talk to you soon. Uh, some call me H Tim. Some call me H T Tim. Hello. Yeah, I like the bird noises too. Tim is easier to say. Yes, it would be. You should have a shorter username. Bloop. Just give me one second, folks. I have to go get a parcel at my front door. So uh, perfect timing. It's about an hour. I take a break uh, every hour. So I have to go grab that parcel. I will be right back. Give me about five minutes, maybe. Hopefully not longer than that.
All right, packages are safely stowed. Thanks for your patience, everyone. Tis that time of year, and when I do afternoon streams, I find that the third-party Amazon folks around here tend to get to me around 4 to 5 o'clock, so I have to keep my eye on my phone. Uh, that was actually odd. They um, There wasn't a caller ID. It just said that it was an area code from Cape Breton, which is why I didn't answer it right away. Which is, for those of you that don't know, Cape Breton is nowhere near me, and I don't know anybody in Cape Breton, so it was odd that I received a, uh, a call from that area. But that's just kind of where their phone is, I guess, registering. I'm not really sure how to, how to say it. Uh, okay, so it's just basically this thing. So I've got two, three there. Let's move this. That's fine. Uh, two. And up here needs a little bit of work very quickly. Move that out a little bit. Obviously, there's a biome change here. What is what's going on here? We are in planes. Huh. That's odd. Is it me or is that piece of grass a different color? Like that's a different color. Wooded hills. Huh. Neat. So yeah, stuff like this will probably eventually be filled in. I don't want to do it right now in case I get inspired to do something else neat with it, like maybe a waterfall or something. Um, whoop. I put myself into creative so that when I was away from the computer, I didn't die because I had to go quickly. Okay. Let's see here. We have a lot of grass now. That's good. I'd say that's pretty good. I think I want to finish it up to there so we just have this one little part here to sort out that's kind of bugging me what's different speaking of car scar i love scars fantasy town the season of hermacraft i don't know if i've kept up with scar this season i mean i enjoy his content i just haven't had time I find one of the first things that's happened um, since I've been making Minecraft content is I have way less time to actually consume it. I've also, I and then this has got nothing to do with Hermitcraft or Scar, but uh, I am not a big RP person. And I've noticed that a lot of the builders that I like lately have been doing a lot more RP stuff. And it's not my cup of tea. I think we have to do two, three. And then curve this one back again. Did I do this already? Yes. Ah, I see what's going on. This is that double tier 
isn't it? Yes, okay. So here we will just go to, I guess out to here. Try to smooth that out a little bit. Oh, not so much there, huh? Here, I guess we'll just have this merge this way. That means that this part probably gonna have to be yeah this is a bridge we might have to cross later as to what's gonna look good Because again, we're getting getting ahead of ourselves here. That'll that'll do us for now. We'll have to figure out how to transition later. Uh, the Fantasy Towns car I did was back at the very beginning of season seven. Oh, I did see that. Yes, yeah, in the jungle, right? Yeah, he did some cool stuff. He did some cool stuff. All right, inventory, I think, needs to be squashed. So we have lots of grass, lots of dirt. And I'll put this in here too. Not that. The odds and sods can go in there. The sand. Uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. I thought I had an andesite box. Maybe I don't. So, uh, what do we want to do now? I guess we'll do a little bit of the road. Yeah, so the reason why I wanted to have this, I guess I don't really have to do the road right now. I wanted to just know where the road was so that when you're walking along it, what you're looking at over here is going to matter. Uh, 
Uh, they put a draft of the dripstone cave generation and uh, added skulk sensors. Yes, they did. That's the snapshot came out today. Um, I think we're going to try to get a um, someone that's well versed in redstone on the show on spawn trunks soon for some snapshot stuff. Well, I guess since we started it, we might as well put it in the road. That'll only take a couple of minutes. That's if I can find the coarse dirt. So the way that I do this kind of stuff is I just kind of go at it from the top down first, and then I worry about the landscaping later. So you can see the path that I laid out with the... Um, with the stone and this over here I want to say is seven wide maybe it's only five. One, two, three, four, five. yeah then that's pretty big so I think I want to make this only four wide three is gonna be feel small because here's three three over here can feel a little bit tiny like this is three so I think I might want to go four um, I haven't seen the new snapshot I read the notes quickly before I started streaming that's why I was 10 minutes late just because I wanted to kind of take a quick look and see what was up um, but no I haven't I haven't actually loaded it up if I have time at the end of this stream it would be fun to kind of like mess around with it a little bit um, I guess we're just going to go straight ahead with this. We'll probably come back here. Although here it's probably going to go up. Hmm. I might have to change my tune here. Yeah, let's continue on with the pattern that the bridge does which is two by twos so this would be two there then two here ah this works out better Yeah, okay, well, well, we'll start to curve it probably on as it goes up the hill. That'd be the easiest place to do that. Again, I'm just I'm just going from the top down, trying to figure out how this is going to look. And I think we're probably going to get the road up on this thing. I was going to curve it to the left here, but I think what we'll do instead, now that I'm looking at it, is go straight at it like this. And then from here, we can very easily start to curve up. So then the road could just be all of this. Let's see how that looks. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about mostly the the riverside edge of the road. Missing a little bit right somewhere here.
Yeah, so this would probably be all road. Jared, hello. And Anna the Dev, how's it going, Anna Marie? Good to see you. Good to see you. So the easiest thing to do with this kind of stuff, once you have one side of the road done and you're kind of happy with it, then you just come in here and just add the blocks. Just count over the three that we're adding and see how it looks. And the nice part about this is that it looks like it butts up against this hill, which is cool. You do run into a part, a point where it does, it stops making sense and you have to go back and adjust it, but it's the quickest way that I've found to put a road together. is to just do one edge and then come back two, three, four. So you'll see that I'm, I'm keeping to the, the Y values. So as I, as I trace this, well here we're gonna have to do something. We'll have to do a curve here, but. So then if we pop back up, Good start, right? It's a decent start. Uh, we just have to come back in here and probably add like, see where these, I call them tangents, but this change in direction lines up perfectly with this change in direction and it looks funky. So the way to get around that is just on the outside edge, just add one, wherever you see that happening. So like here, here and then here and probably here too and right away that softens it up a little bit be the same thing on this direction as well but we haven't done the side yet so what have you built in this area already? Uh, we have the orange potato farm. Building is a little bit newer looking than I kind of wanted, but I kind of had to roll with it. Great big potato field. We have a wheat field with a stone bridge, which is on an angle actually, uh, going into the water wheel. Actually here, let's, let's do this. You'll see the whole idea was to have something kind of reveal as you come down this path, you get a glimpse of what's happening. But then when you come around this corner, the whole whole thing just kind of reveals itself as you come around here. So there's a road going down the middle. We've got uh, the wheat field with the water wheel, little bits of the canal shown through. We've got a little barn over there. That's the player barn, Anna Marie, by the way. Underneath, underneath the barn in the basement is like all the player blocks, like all the stuff if you have wanted to build something up here want to dream up a build for the area but i want it to fit in the style well you don't have to build here like just to kind of give you an example um that's not it that's not it either where'd it go there it is we're building in the very central flower plains biome which is the bright green area right dead center of that yellow circle the yellow squiggly there's a little two little dotted lines going through and that's that's outside of our place so there are tons of places to build just depends on what biome you want to build in you don't have to worry about it matching up with mine the whole idea is that it's a medieval it's a medieval realm but it's also a fantasy realm so like if you wanted to build an elven castle or if you wanted to build um all that kind of stuff then you can just you can find a place on the server that works uh, thanks, Jared. Yeah, I really liked, I learned a fair bit with this and what I wanted to do. Uh, and I, it was a little bit too much wood. Like it feels like it's a little bit too modern. 
Uh, but we're really close to the town. So the town is just right here. So I feel like this whole this whole area here is is going to be pretty well developed. You know, like I don't think we're going to get a, getting into like sparse distant farms. And then I started to lay out the town as to how I want it to go. We've got this little bridge here. I think I have to add a pair of stair, like a set of stairs going down here. But we've got this barn. It's kind of empty at the moment. Then this is what we did yesterday. And this barn. And this has got quite a, a lot of stuff in it. So, And I've moved my little camp up here. Thanks, Anna Marie. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's slow, but I mean, like, that's streaming. Like, it's just, it's, I'm not rushing through it because it just means there's a lot more content, right? So we have to do the same thing here, which is one, two, three. Here we have to switch directions. So one, two, that's three. Then we've got three there. And this is where we're gonna have to get creative with how we go up that that embankment to get to move this something that's severely lacking in this area though is any kind of like street light street lamps and then they would be candles or something like that's not going to be anything crazy i it's one of those things where like i really wish we had candles now because i would definitely make use of them Yeah, so I think I can get rid of this now. So that is about right. It needs to be a little bit thicker, I would say. I wanted to keep with the way that this goes. So it goes over two. So we should probably do. Well, that'll turn. That'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's something funky going on up there, though. Right here. So this is what I was talking about before, where it goes it's two, and then there's three, and then there's one. So this should be two. Problem solved. So the other trick is going to be sorting uh, this part out. So we're going to need some slabs. Uh, we're working on another field uh, that's going to be full of wheat. That's what we're working on right now. And this is going to be a neat challenge to kind of get in here and see what we can do. So we can just go over top of this for starters. Like that. And I 
think what I want to do is push this back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here, we can maybe grab that, do the same thing here. Here we have to back this up a bit. This will help a little bit. We'll change this a little bit with, with stone walls. Uh, it'll make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, so like that likely won't be there. That works. Uh, maybe not there. Cool. A little bit steep in places. Feels pretty good to me. Feels pretty good to me. It will obviously change a bit once we have a bunch of this other stuff in here. Um, I was thinking about instead of doing uh, the wall the same way that I did the other wall, we did this was mostly cracked brick. And that feels very like, feels more roadside. And so with the new one, I think I want to do just cobblestone and andesite and then we'll go with from there and for that I'm going to need um, andesite shulker so Anna Marie just so you know uh, if you come to this orange potato farm uh, around the back there is a um, player cellar I guess underneath the barn and uh it's got bed, it's got all this, you know, all the stuff that you'd want to use and do like mess around with. And the way that we've, we've got this set up is that the, this particular realm is uh, kingdom craft rules. So Mikasa Sukasa, unless the shulker box has someone's name on it, then the, then the contents are good to use. Cause there's a lot of stone and a lot of like wood and just the things that you need to build in medieval. And it sucks if you have to go collect that stuff. But like, this is my andesite box. So anything like that has people's names on it. But beyond that, it's all good. I'd love to start this today too, but I feel like I'd be getting ahead of myself. There's also a village. I know you like to re reoutfit villages. There's a village over here that could use some love. And this road that I'm building is actually going straight to it. Put the coarse dirt back. Keep a little bit of it, I guess. And we'll keep those. And I want cobblestone. So we can start with this here and just start to 
noodle this away. So you can start to see quite quickly how it'll start to feel like that feels very linear, doesn't it? Don't mess this up a little bit. Uh, then here we'll probably switch just this one. I need another bed down here. My bed is too far away. I feel like I'm going back and forth just all day long. This would be a really cool spot if we had started here as like a like a early seed this cave would have been a perfect like starter home just put up a wall and door on either side and you're good uh, so this would bring this into here and then again picking up on that side Although here is where I would probably get out here quite quickly. And this, again, probably best to just go couple and then go down to one. So it starts to have a little bit more of an organic feel to it. And you'll see like little indents here where the wall makes sense. So actually, I think I might want to cut that back like that. So you can see like where the wall kind of curves in where the road hits. Probably change this too. To the Joel Cave! Nice! Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Might not starting to feel a lot more intentional, right? We might have to widen the road here a little bit as things progress, but... Uh, and then along here, we can just replace everything. Maybe I should be pushing it out. No, I guess that's fine. I'd intended for this area to be thinner, I guess. come back and refine this maybe that'll be like a stair or a slab or something but you get the idea and then what we had been doing on these other places was having like a single row of um, coarse dirt go along by the walls it does reduce the amount of stuff you can actually plant 
but I think it does look kind of cool. So I'm going to switch over to the core starts here. To the point where like you kind of know where your crops end because there's just no point in point in planting anything beyond here so you're like your last crops are probably going to stop you know probably right around here be the last of them there um Oh, the sand, the side of sandstone. Yeah, yeah, the side of sandstone can be a little bit tricky. I'm not particularly a fan. Oops. Probably about where it would end. Chicken was distracting me. Grab that. Now here's where the walls are probably going to end up meeting in some way or another. there so now you can start to see the method to my madness right and when this is all filled with wheat and you look at it from over here maybe get up a little bit higher here like when that's all tiered wheat like this but on different levels it's really really cool I don't know what angle we're going to place them on, though. They have to be pretty steep. Probably that one. I can imagine uh, it would be something like that. We might have to go a little bit thicker than, uh, than two. We might have to go three wide. I think we did two over there. Maybe we'll do three over here. Let's 
like maybe three to there, sort of a thing. Not sure which one of those would look better. Yeah, we'll have to play around with it. It'll be cha it'll change as we round the corners anyway, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how she goes. Uh, did I finish the wall? Did not. One thing I like to do when I do have paths like this is is run them as often as I can. So that way when you're walking back and forth along them, you can kind of decide how they feel. You know, do they feel good? Did you miss any spots? Sort of thing. So on this side, we just have the one more wall here. And I guess this would, technically, I guess it would just be too high to here. And then it would drop here. At this point, it would probably end up trailing off, not going right up to the road. I haven't decided, I don't think I'm going to put wheat here. Probably better to have it as some sort of like river access, but yeah, this will have to slab and do something cool with. Uh, here, I guess it would make sense. Go right from the road. See now here, this isn't really big enough to plant anything on, so we'd have to do some sort of like, maybe there'd be like barrels in a work area or something here. Have to think about like, I try to think about function, function, you know, like what, what would be useful here. Plus, it helps when Minecraft gets chunky, you know, and you can't really do what you were planning to in a space. Stop there. Yeah, it's kind of a cool organic shape to it. And then this somehow 
has to get back up. I really think this just has to be too tall. I was hoping to make it softer, but I think this is just going to be the way to go. Six. Now we're back down to one. And that ties up there. So yeah, not quite sure how we're going to handle this inner section uh, we might have to do might have to make this steeper and this would be a good spot to put like a tree you know some sort of natural thing to just kind of be in the way here that would be that's usually how I handle that kind of thing and what I'd like to do I think with this coastline is probably make it pretty grassy like I'm probably just gonna come in here with bone meal and go bananas that's probably the plan. Now, uh, if we can go get some more coarse dirt, I'd like to try to plant a little bit of wheat. Hello, Connor B. Bandman. Hello, Connor J. B. Hold on, Connor J. Bandman. Sorry. Long day. It was a long day. I need to put this back. Put that stuff back. We need to dump off the grass. Yeah. Dirt slab texture. Yes. It is the petrified oak slab with a custom texture pack and a recipe. We need more spaces for things. Oh, that's looking cool. How does that look from the road? I wonder how much we're going to be able to see. Oh wow, you can see the whole thing. That's awesome. That's going to look great. Excellent. I forgot the seeds. We need the wheat seeds. And we would also need, I think I've got everything else I would not. It's already out here. I think I'm going to do this next. So we're going to grab our wood box, grab our coarse dirt box. Probably this. Bring that with us. Bring the bed. Okay. 
Yeah, this will look cool once all the walls are built up. So, if I was a wagon full of wheat and I was coming in here to be milled, uh, I would want to perhaps pull up here, have it dropped off there, and turn the corner and head this way. I do unfortunately feel that these two trees are in the way. I want to try and keep these two, but I think these two are going to have to come down. I've got screenshots, so if we decide to replant one or put it back, then we can do that. The reason for that is because I'd like to have some sort of um, similar fence situation to that stuff there. So we're going to need to put down all of our brown shulkers here. Should have brought the pink one too. Let's go get that actually. Anybody want rockets that go half as far? Kind of, I kind of want rockets that go half as far as the the ones, just for like quickly zipping around. Okay, so we're gonna need those. Have those. Gonna need some fences. Bushes, which I left way over there. Lunch stream. Well, lunch for you. It's almost dinner time for me. I have to decide what I want for dinner. Uh, bushes, please and thank you. Don't need that many. I should probably bring some grass, though. I don't know why I'm whispering. Bring the bed, I brought the bed. Mobile lag is bad, yes. I agree. Yeah, these are just level one rockets. It's just that I'm not flying very far. Like I'm only flying 50 blocks maybe. All right, so I think I like this wagon trail, except for it wants to be a little bit wider right here. like to have probably a fence post here maybe there This is just decorative because this is all the same property. I don't think we really have to do much beyond maybe pull this around this way. Maybe add one more bush. Eh, maybe not. Trapdoor? What do you mean? For what? The top of these? Yeah. These things go like that. Boop. Boop. And boop. Actually, one of these, we're going to switch over to stripped spruce. Probably this one. Yeah. 
And then I do have some grass. Then here, I think we can just straight up continue on with these paths. Although I feel like I might have left myself too much room over here. So we can actually move these, I think. As cool as they are, I think we can squeeze one of these in here. I did. So that will take care of that. This is a little bit of green space right there. I guess technically we could maybe make that a little bit bigger. This destroyer of your minds. Hello, how's it going? And put that there. We're just in the process of putting in this little wheat field here. And then here we can do the same thing. I don't mind the idea of having a little bit of a green bit at the end of these. So we can leave it that way. Oh, more course dirt. play on bedrock and all the rockets are all the same speed i did not know that about bedrock that would drive me nuts are they all level one or are they all level three i'm hoping level one this looking now yeah so that's a little bit tighter I think I like that more I might actually push this out a little bit later on but for now she's good like here this could totally be more wheat although here we have to think about how we're going to get around the door so some of this has to be pulled back and we'll think about um well one how this door would swing grass there. And 
then we can swing this out like this. Again, we'll come back and texture this so that it doesn't look so so wonky. Star, hello, or EK Tapstar. Come back up here. This is actually working out quite well. I think that might be the last one we can fit in. I think anything else is going to feel a little bit weird. Oh, we could probably start at the river and fit in one more. Has a fun little organic feel to it. And now we switch. If you're wondering why I'm doing this twice, it's because the shovel is just really easy to mark out what you're doing. I could have done this all the first time around, but it's that many clicks when you um if you have to redo it it's a pain in the butt this will grow up pretty fast too with the river so nearby which is nice oh that's not seeds That went together quite quickly. Just adds a little splash of color. Still not entirely sure what we're doing with the rest of these grounds, but I think it's probably going to make sense that it would stay green space for the most part, I think. Uh, I need to sleep and I need to take a short break. From the Canadian prairies to watching people build expansive wheat fields is just like home. Yes, I would imagine it is. I would imagine it is. That's really cool. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what province are you from? I'm assuming you know that I'm from Nova Scotia, but maybe you don't. Sometimes the East Coast accent squeaks in there, sometimes it does not. Either way, uh, I will be back in five minutes. If you're new to the stream, I take a break about once an hour and I'm a little bit overdue. So give me a few, I'll be right back.
that was a weird cut. All right, uh, we need to go this way. I'd like to approach this from the other side. Obviously the shulker boxes are in the way. Yeah, I think it looks okay. It doesn't look like an obstacle. It just kind of like divides the space a little bit. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about this stuff. It might be... Hmm. I think I might have to wait for the wheat to grow up before I decide what's going to happen here. Like maybe we want to do this. Yeah, I like this little green spot here. I feel like this is maybe a little bit on the weird side. like to add more stuff along here. Oh right, I was thinking about putting stairs there, wasn't I? Basically the issue that I have is that when I come over this bridge, it uh, I have to remember to go this way to get to the other side of the canal. So if you come up here, you're stuck. You can only go in the building. And it feels like, while that's a nice little utility shortcut, I feel like there should be a way down from up here. And I'm wondering if we could do something here with like wood stairs off to the side. Unfortunately, that would bite into these trees. So again, it's like the trees might stay, but they might move slightly. But I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to call that part done. Maybe we'll um, add a little bit more of this stuff here. now I guess is how we want to do the weed on the other side but I don't know if I want to spend the rest of the stream doing weed I kind of want to change gears a little bit I want to push farther south and see what we can think of for for that um, this thing be a nice change of pace so let's put some of this stuff back Carrying that around. Whoop. Let's walk it. So, yeah, again, this will have a nice wall on either side of it once it's got wheat and stuff going. Shulker boxes are indeed organized. Uh, I have to be at this stage of the game. Uh, speaking of, though, we should probably pack a lot of this stuff up. Although it's good to know that we can come back here and use this as like a little staging cave. 
What was that? Wood box, coarse dirt, we'll take log box. Brilliant. So, uh, looking down the road, one of the things that I really like the way about this thing has been planned out is that as you come around the corner here, you can see the township or what will be the front door, the front gate of the township in the in the back there. I might even actually throw up. See if I can, I see if I can't get a browser window going in the stream, and maybe we'll take a look at my Pinterest account. Because I've got an idea about what I want to put there. And it does not look like this. It doesn't look like a castle. It looks a lot more like a, a town gate. So you can see we've got the road kind of planned out here. See on the map there. There's another intersection going out that way. This might still be a little bit wide. But here, this is feeling very castle tower and symmetrical. And what I would like to do, if I just grab myself... Something to make a little bit of a pillar on. All right, let's just see if I can't find a quick browser tab to open up in Streamlabs. All right, do I have one of these already? don't think I do. So we'll do browser source, add source, sure. And then we'll do this. So the question is, Does this move for you guys when I scroll around? It does not look like it does. So that's not the right thing to do. Remove. Yeah, remove that. Um, display capture. Media source. Window capture is probably what I want. Uh, let's go with Chrome. Now, if I scroll around, aha! All right, let's just put that right there. Hopefully this is big enough for people to see. Uh, this is my Pinterest page and I've been going through and making a lot of um, uh, bookmarks and things. And in the medieval area, I've got everything kind of sectioned off. I've got walls and gates and things and I really like this one as a potential for the entrance to this little town however I also really like this other one and I think it's just in buildings bridges buildings I'll know it right away when I see it it looks like where'd you go aha this maybe not quite that big but I just like that kind of vibe. So not square towers on the top, but like a, a roofed, like a pitched roof. I thought I had that from a couple of different angles. Actually, this is a good one too, as the gate. It's a little, it's a smaller gate than I wasn't planning. Um, where's another good one? There's the wheat mill. I thought there was a better angle of that top part. I wish they would group together when they're the same thing. This is pretty cool. This is what I'm thinking. Asymmetrical, for sure. If I zoom in on this. Uh, this is from Mule Kim on Art Station. So you can see that's that would be a kind of a cool... If I'm thinking about this, like basically right where I'm looking, right? Like you can see where the two towers would go. You see the arch 
the entryway. So we can start with something like that. Um, but I would also like to find that other angle of the front gate that I picked out. And I guess I can use my imagination and flip it around. Uh, hmm. Let's go back out one level. Maybe I didn't bookmark it. Maybe I thought I did. Bridges, roads, paths, streets, towers, maybe? Nope. Walls and gates. Oh, is that it? Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. The Bushness subscribed to Tier 1. That's three months in a row. Currently on a three-month streak. Unlocking the very fancy Waterstone Keystone Badge. Love for Canada's best streamer. Those are heavy, heavy words there, Bushna. But thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, for anybody else in the chat, if you've uh, got a Prime Gaming sub or Tier 1 you want to throw around, then you can join the Discord. Or if you're on a budget, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is much cheaper than Twitch, and you get the access to the same Discord. Going to go stock your Pinterest page. Please do. Uh, Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. Very easy to find. Frodo Baggins. Glad that you're listening to the podcast. I'm recording a new one with Megan tomorrow. So yeah, do we like this one? Or do we like this one by ArtStation? This seems a little bit simpler. We might be able to do a little bit more with this. Yeah, let's try... Uh, let's just open in a new tab. And then I'll move this around. So we'll use this as reference. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Or a lot bigger. So we can pop this up whenever we want. And is this it? That's it. Cool. All right. Window capture. Sweet. So the basics of this, uh, I think, are going to end up being like it'll it'll have this nice front part out here, and I like the location of this particular um, gate because it, right after you get in here, it's all low ground, and then all along the outside here, it's all high ground. So it'll help with the walls like immensely. Half the work's done already. So if we're looking at this, and do we have the middle? I don't think we have the middle marked out. We should do that. Uh, let's just go with stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not the middle. Did I do an even build? That would be terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. This the middle. All right, I'm doing this on purpose because we're going to use this to kind of like gauge the scale of everything. Um, what about Art Station MacCast? Take it easy, Connor. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing now. I'm going to say that it's probably about five blocks deep. And we've got that being a lot deeper than that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think that this is where the wall is meant to go, this back part here. So let's just think about 
There's the middle here. Oh, you asked which we like. I see. The one on our station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just mobile delay. A little bit. Makes context a little bit challenging. Um, okay, so we can still do nine. It's just that nine will be the outside. Yeah, so I'm going to grab some stone. I'm going to grab some stone bricks. And we can start to do this here. And then maybe we'll use cobble in here. Yep, I need cobble. Looking at this, I think that I'd want that to be at least three before the next part would start. And then we'd have another thing coming out here. Like that. And then the inside, I think, would be five, right? So we would have this. Oh, it actually might make this a little bit deeper. If I've learned anything building this, it's that you want to make things a little bit chunkier. Right, so maybe this isn't that deep. Maybe we do just one here. Like that. I have no idea if this is gonna go down. Probably not, we'll probably keep it flat. I feel like that starts to have a little bit of a shape to it. And then we go maybe two more blocks and then the door. Again, some of this might end up being either raised or lowered. I'm not really sure. Now, as for the height, we definitely want four blocks above the door, like four blocks up from the ground before we get into the wood. So we've come up here. Actually, probably just for clarity's sake. Like that. Sorry, I realized I had that left up. You didn't miss anything. I just placed an extra row. I need to have this uh, on my own screen, but I can't move it. Hold on. Now, does that change anything? 
for me. If I do that, no, okay, cool. Let me post the link to this quick in uh, the chat, just so everybody can have a look at it. <laughs> Leave the reference up and pretend you already did it. Ta-da, yeah, there we go. Yeah, here, we ready? Build in three, two, one, poof. That'd be pretty funny. So I should probably grab my wood box and just kind of like start to speculate on what's going to happen. I'm probably going to change the pal a little bit, but yeah, so I'd want there to be Probably at this point, we would have the stairs doing their thing. And it might not be stairs in the end, but this is just kind of like a, why is that not? That. And yeah, I should grab some scaffolding. I'm just trying to get like a scale, a sense of scale here. Um, it's going to be in here. Because this is going to bring it out by a block. I'm just going to use uh, that and I would say probably another level of wood maybe something else we're not gonna make stone we'll make it some other color but it looks like these might go up all the way so these would be windows And at some point, yeah, that's going to be a lot taller than I thought. So we might have to scale this part down for this to feel the right, the right scale. Um, but I like the way that this is sort of going. I feel like we can maybe come in here. And come up this way. down just a little bit. Oop. Bring into the ceiling here. It's really cool how quickly stuff can come together when you've got reference. Oh yeah, okay. This we're gonna have to There will eventually be stairs involved in this and slabs and it'll look a lot smoother. 
But I think that's probably, that's a decent idea. We'll get there with it. Especially when it's all like 3D and filled in. Um, but from there, I would say this isn't going to be here. This is what's throwing me off. So the, the headway here is going to be a lot smaller. So I've got it quite thick. We're going to reduce it back. So this isn't going to be here. But then on top of that, I'll need at least one more block. If this is the height that I want. To there. And then it'll do the same thing where we'll have some sort of, is this the middle? This is the middle. Some sort of outcrop there. But then this actually doesn't have a peak on it. So that's good. That means this will be nice and low. So from there, it'll have probably a log. I'm going to switch. Do I not have? I thought I had a lot more logs. Here we go. I guess we'll use spruce. I'm kind of defaulting to spruce. And I know that this is just like every medieval build ever. I might try to do something different like birch or something. there like that and then probably just one row of wood and then windows and I would say probably five in the middle so one oh we're out Well, maybe not. Three in the middle, I guess. Like that. And then some other form of thing here. Quite quickly, we have a thing that is massive. It's not quite what I had envisioned. Okay, well, this is probably going to get lowered as cool as it would be to have it go up a little bit. We'll probably lower it here so that it, it can come down into, into this. I mean, this is just scale. I'm just trying to figure out what the scale is going to be. And... I think we may have just gone overboard with like this being five tall. I think this has to be three tall. I think we're just going to use a couple different types of wood. Stripped would probably work best. Um, and these windows will be lower. So that's probably one thing. So that means the whole thing would be that height, which would be good, I think. Um, I do like the idea of having a decent size arc here, the archway. So we'll do this over here real quick. Yeah, definitely goes up to there. And then like that. 
it's an approximation. We'll have to figure out a little bit more. I might square it off a little bit just to kind of get to have get it to have that feel we want. Uh, the other thing that we have to remember too is this tower on the left hand side is going to be a lot smaller. We're going to carve this down. It's probably only going to be about that that wide on that side. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work. I think that will work. Cool. Uh, let's fly back here and just kind of see. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll grab this real quick. Grab the strip. And I'll just change the height of this middle part so that when we fly and take a look at it, it'll look the right, the right height. Land, please. Thank you. Right, so from here, we're going to make the windows at this height. No, I fell. Probably just easier just to chop the whole thing down. And then we've got one, two, three, and we got window here and window there. Nope. Window here and window there. Do you find it easy to translate a piece of art like this reference images uh, using Minecraft? Uh, yeah, once you get used to um, taking a look at something like this and figuring out like what is a block height or what is a block width and then sort of deciding, okay, well, if that's going to be a block width, then, you know, like how, like you look at the doors, usually the doors are what you have to look at first and you have to kind of beef up any kind of beams and make the beams be a block width as well. Um, but it, it works out pretty well. There's a little bit of... Um, it's like sticking a straw in it and blowing and kind of making the build kind of go poop. You know? If you look up concept art on, on ArtStation and you look at mobile concept art, like the stuff for mobile games, then um, they kind of have a, like a chunkier fat line to everything. and Yeah, I think that could work. We might lower it one but probably not that's going to be the roof i think of the the whole thing we'll probably put like a trap door roof on it or something i like the lighter color as well we might change it to spruce but we're going to go with stripped for sure um yeah so then where would the height of this be probably looking at another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be up here on the left-hand side and then even taller on the other side. And that's fine. And again, we could get away with dropping this down. So like if I look at the, if I look at the drawing and we look at the, where the wood starts on that gatehouse out here at the front, and we think about like where the top of the roof is. It's about right, but we want to we want to drop we want to drop this down by at least a block or two. And the easiest way to do that is just to reduce this. You know, we'll probably leave this the way that it is, and then we'll reduce that. Um, and again, this is all just temporary. We'll mess around with it. And I wanted to get the proportions right. I, I do this a lot where I rough things in and like boxes and stones. And if it looks good, like when we back up and it looks good, then um, it makes a big difference in terms of the time investment. Like here, if you imagine the tower is going to be up there. 
So you'll be able to see that tower from quite a ways away. Which is good because it gives you something to like, it gives depth to the world. Which is good. And then if we look at it in this way, like that's pretty big. We'll have to manage how big the, uh, the rest of the stuff is. Um, but it'll be a fun little little town. It's not meant to be huge. Um, I also have to make sure that the wall doesn't look too chintzy next to this, but I think we're good. Anyway, uh, that is unfortunately where I have to uh, wrap things up. <laughs> Cosmic Dancer says, the talent police found me. Nice. Very clever. I will take that. Thank you very much. Um, we are, um, we'll continue on with this and then we'll poke at it from time to time. But today, uh, the things that we worked on were yet more farm fields. Uh, we've got this barn over here. And we have some wheat coming in over here. But we added this tiered landscaping bit to the other side of this angled bridge today. And I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks good. Once it, uh, all the wheat is planted, then um, it will look even better. Uh, as you can see from the little mini map or from this top map, it's got quite a lot of structure to it. So I'm quite happy with that. We're going to send this road on through the woods over to this other village. And then we're going to bend it down and come down this way as well. Uh, this kind of stuff is always really fun. I like planning infrastructure. Uh, it kind of indicates to you where your next builds are going to be. And then, of course, we started um, just a little bit last bit here. We started working on this. But uh, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a follow before you take off. You will get notified when I go live. You can also follow me on Twitter at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. Uh, don't forget to check out the spawn chunks. We got a new snapshot coming out today. So we'll be talking about that on the spawn chunks next week on Monday. I record with Megan Townsend tomorrow on the Citadel Cafe. It's another free podcast that I do. You can find that at thecitadelcafe.com. And uh, I don't know what we're talking about. We'll find out. So uh, yeah, tune into that. Uh, you can get that wherever you get your podcasts. Last but not least, thanks to everyone today that supported with a tier one, a Prime Gaming sub, or uh, join the Patreon. You can join the Discord by doing any one of those three things. All roads lead to Rome, or to Joel, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, that's going to be it for me, folks. I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye for now. <laughs>